So today's video is going to be all about your safety on social media. And I am going to pick on Facebook specifically, but I'm gonna show you some things that you need to know. These will be kind of good indicators for you as to whether or not somebody can be trusted. And if you stick around to the end, I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens when you accept 299 friend requests all at once and you get to watch my Facebook Messenger light up like a Christmas tree. So here we go. Obviously the girls with the bikinis and all the body parts hanging out are probably scammers. That's pretty obvious. First thing I would look at is, is there any mutual friends? Okay, that's a dead giveaway. People don't generally randomly friend people who don't have anybody in common. This person friended me randomly. Their profile is all in Spanish. I do not speak Spanish. So first thing I'm going to do is look at the mutual friends. If I look at the mutual friend and it's somebody I know, I'll reach out to that person and say, hey, do you know this person? So I'm going to look at their about page and they're in the Dominican Republic, which is not anywhere near me. Their page is all in Spanish. They basically just have pictures of themselves and just random things that don't make any sense to me. It makes me wonder why would this person want to friend me. So I'll pick another one here. Let's go with Janet. Okay, so there's Janet. Pretty girl. Mutual friend. Also somebody I don't know. But if you scroll down, that's it. The Facebook page is today old. Literally was created today. This is the oldest post they have. That is a dead giveaway that it's a fake profile. You, as a Facebook user, obviously want to find people who share like interests or maybe post funny stuff that you like and you want to share, and that's totally cool. But what you don't understand, and I know this because I do this every day, is almost every one of these people, as soon as I friend requested them, they would immediately start sending me requests for money, for gift cards, for information, want to share something with me to tell me I want a prize, something along those lines. Now here's another example. This is obviously a white guy, okay, who at first may seem legitimate. Maybe he found one of my public posts and thought it was funny, but there's no information here on where he's located, so that's a clue. And also, if you look, Gary is his name, except it, it says Gary updated her profile picture, which tells me that the profile was originally created as a female profile. So if you scroll down, there's a female that updated her picture July 2020 and probably changed the Facebook name on the account to appear like she's this person. So that's usually a good indicator that that person is not legitimate no information, no location, no relationships, no mutual friends. And for most people, I would say that is a bad idea to accept that person's friend request. William, William sure does look like a female, doesn't he? So mutual friend, and coincidentally, a lot of times you'll see the same mutual friend for a lot of your requests. And generally that means that that person's page has been hacked so you might want to reach out to that friend and let them know. But of course, in this case, okay, that is definitely not William. And if you scroll down, they just moved to Los Angeles yesterday. Could be fact, but maybe not. The profile picture was updated yesterday. So, you know, it just, just doesn't smell right. Most people, I would say, unless you have at least four or five mutual friends, probably a bad idea to accept a friend request from somebody. So I'm going to show you an example of somebody who I friend ex I accepted their friend request earlier and sure enough, no mutual friends and the conversation was, "Hey, hello, how are you? Fine. I have something important to discuss with you." Oh, that sounds serious. Yeah. Okay. Well, I got off the hook on that one. Here's an example of one that friend requested me and immediately started hitting me up to send him money, 
via a gas card and then a Best Buy card and I an iTunes card then an Amazon card all kinds of stuff and I've had fun with him I've literally been pulling his chain for the last couple days but this guy is obviously out to just scam me a couple things you need to pay attention to when it comes to specific messages so first of all and this guy's a good example because he's I've seen him before on Facebook messing with my other friends so they'll start off with something simple like I'm doing pretty good and by the way, have you heard about this new agency or have you heard about this new development fund or have you heard about this new lottery or have you heard about this Facebook benefit of yours that you get or something along those lines? They're going to send you a link to click on, which please don't ever click on those links because they're never good. They're usually going to end up putting malware on your computer and it's just a bad, bad idea. Okay. And this is even with your friends. Sometimes your friends get hacked and somebody takes over and sends that stuff. So if you're not sure, just use common sense and say, I'm not clicking on any links unless it's something I have discussed with my friend that I told them to send me in Messenger. Otherwise, have them send it to you in a text message or an email. But as you can see here, I've just had some fun with this guy, messing with him and pulling his chain and keeping him going for hours and hours and days and days and days. And he keeps trying to get money out of me and I keep making excuses. If you're not sure, if your gut tells you that something doesn't make sense, generally your gut is going to be correct. Nowadays, you literally will get blasted by scammers if you just blindly accept all Facebook requests. So, a couple things you need to do. You need to make sure that your Facebook password is a little more secure. Most people have had Facebook for a while and they have an old password that's probably easy to hack. Take this time now to update your Facebook password. Make it a password as long as you can with letters, numbers, and symbols. And if you have to, write it down somewhere. It's okay to have it automatically log in on your computer, but what you don't want is somebody figuring out your information based on the information that you post on your Facebook. Now, that's the second point is go into your settings and adjust your privacy settings so that people can't automatically see where you're from or see your friends and automatically assume things and suck you into a conversation based on that. Social media is fun, but it's dangerous at the same time. And if you're not careful, you can very easily get scammed. Now you're gonna have a hacked page and then once you get a hacked page, good luck trying to get it back. So this is the moment you've all been waiting for. I now have 301 friend requests. What I want you to watch is what happens to my Facebook Messenger feed when I start accepting these requests. And this is in real time so you can see exactly how long it takes for these people to start hitting me up and I won't go through the individual conversations but I want you to see just how quickly they start blasting me. I have my Facebook on lockdown. I'm I'm an IT expert and have been for 30 years. Nobody's going to hack me. My password is hack proof and I'm not worried about it because I know better than to click on links and I know better than to give people my information or my name or my, my full name, my social security, my exact location. I don't give them any information about me to be able to do anything to me. Just be careful. Use your head. Be smart about it. Make sure you're Facebook is secure or your Twitter or your Instagram, any social media you use, make sure your privacy settings are set to the privacy level you are comfortable with because these are total random strangers that will find you and they're good at extorting you or finding a weakness, finding something that's important to you and using that against you to try to get money out of you. Now, I'm going to apologize to you now. I hope there's no content that pops up on my page I will try to blur it out if it does with that said here we go Okay, there's, there's the first one. 
It actually took two minutes. I'm a little surprised. If you are the type of person who will just accept any friend requests, you are going to end up probably being scammed. Okay, so we're down to 161 now. And there's one. And here they come. And I'll just accept these as they come in. Here we go. Now, another way you can help with this, too, is you can go into your Facebook Messenger, your chats, and go under Preferences, and you can turn off your active status. Okay? You also want to go down here and make sure that you do not have any payments linked to your Facebook, like Cash App or anything like that, because people can send you a request for payment and you might accidentally click on it and next thing you know you just sent them money and now you've also given them access to your bank account here we go and they, the hits just keep coming one after the other Oh, and here's one other thing that you also need to pay attention to, and I didn't mention it before. If you notice here, when you look at their profile, you'll see if it says new Facebook account, that is a dead giveaway right there. Because either you have Facebook and you've had it for a while, or you'll never use Facebook. But nobody just suddenly starts using Facebook. It just isn't a thing. So if it says new Facebook account, that means it was created strictly to scam people. Probably the most important thing that you need to know is that if you accept somebody's request, you can always unfriend them. You don't have to stay friends with them just because you've clicked confirm. You could just as quickly unfriend them and then you don't have to worry about it. Now, the other issue is here is that because Facebook allows public posts if you make a public post then that means everybody and their sister in the world can see it and that means you open yourself <laughs> means you open yourself up to be a target okay so this is what happens if you think about all the requests that you get, you get them all at once, all of a sudden it looks like a big deal. Well, it is a big deal. You're just only seeing them one every now and then, but all it takes is one scammer to take your money, to get into your bank account, and believe me, in my computer business, I have plenty of people that I've had to deal with who got scammed by somebody on Facebook, and next thing you know, their bank account is drained, and they have to completely turn their life upside down just to get their money back and to live a normal life. So the best rule the best rule of thumb is don't accept these friend requests unless you are confident that it is somebody that you know, somebody that you're you know, a friend of a friend, or somebody says, Hey, I'm going to friend you, or they request your friendship and then they go and send you a message saying, Hey, I loved your posts. I'm going to friend, rec you know, I'd love to be your friend. If you don't want to accept, that's cool, whatever. Send a message in advance and let them know. That way, when you see it, you go, Okay, this person explained why they want to be my friend. They didn't just randomly friend request me. So, those are a couple things too. And again, when in doubt, don't accept a single one. You'll never get hacked if you don't accept a friend request. So with that, I'm just going to let this play for a while. And the hits just keep coming. And so as you can see, it will continue like this 
all day, all night, and I by tomorrow morning, I will probably have a thousand messages in my inbox. I hope this information helped you as far as knowing what to look for when someone friend requests you on social media, whether it's Facebook or Instagram, Twitter, or whatever. Somebody wants to be your friend, they're going to take the time to take three seconds and let you know, hey, I really like your content. Or somebody that likes your posts a lot and you see that person liking your post and then when they friend request you, it doesn't seem like a big deal. But again, it's your gut. Follow your gut. Your gut will never lie to you. Keep that password strong and make sure your privacy settings are as private as you would keep the privacy in your own home. By the way, I thought I would go ahead and add a follow-up to my video from yesterday. And I filmed it mid-afternoon um, where I had 300 friend requests that I accepted. And of course, you haven't seen it on the video, but I have literally been hounded every minute of the day, all day. My Facebook Messenger has dinged off the hook. I literally had to turn my volume off but until i could figure out how to turn off the notification sound because it has been every 15 to 20 seconds since i woke up at 6 a.m this morning and when i woke up this morning as you can see here i had 909 friend requests you can see just how accepting 300 requests yesterday has turned into 909 the very next day and I guarantee you, if I accepted all of these requests, tomorrow there would be 2,000. So you have to be super, super careful and just be absolutely vigilant about who you accept a friend request from. Most of these people, it could be one person who has five, six, ten different Facebook profiles. Sometimes they have male profiles, sometimes they have female profiles, and they will work whatever angle they can. If you're a male, they're gonna use a female profile to get to you. If you're military, they're gonna use a military profile to get to you. They're gonna do whatever they can to connect to you somehow so that they can get you to send them something. So again, please be super careful.